Hello and welcome to Complete Games and my challenge to remain still try and complete this game. Now this is a challenge I've attempted many times before and I guess we'll see if this time we're going to be lucky. I've got all of the relevant power-ups from the meta game and I'm going to be going with Morticio on the library. So it's, it's more in the library with the bone. Now I've seen somebody else try to do this challenge and the first thing they did was run over for that gem up there and that kind of defeats the object of the challenge if you ask me. But we have to wait to see if we get garlic on our first turn. There we go, garlic. Okay, so like I say, in order for this run to even stand a chance, we had to get garlic first time. So I've been doing this all morning and it looks like we're off to a start, but we also need the attract orb. Now, if you haven't played this game before, I need to collect the gems on the floor in order to gain XP. Ah, here we go, Attract Orb. Now, being that I can't move, we need the Attract Orb to get the gems. So we've got the two key things straight away. Uh, King James Bible. Um, this is a good defensive play. We get a little aura around more here. And yeah, so it's pretty much an AFK challenge and one that I've attempted quite a lot but we'll see the most I've ever managed to do is to get to 25 minutes at 25 minutes we get a boss come in and kill us so I originally did this challenge with Poe who starts with garlic but uh, Laurel I'm gonna take Laurel because that gives us a shield and we're gonna definitely gonna need a shield for this um, but trying to do this challenge with Poe when I got to 25 minutes I didn't have anything that would defeat the 25 minute boss and I'm just hoping if we can get more to level 60 that the bones are going to do enough damage to the creature um, and I guess oh attract orb we're definitely going to increase our pickup range it's essential we've got to get it um, for this run to be effective we, we can't move so we've got to level up attract orb anytime we get that opportunity to do Okay, pentagram. Pentagram, this erases everything in sight, including the gems, but it might, I'm gonna go for it. It might prove to be a mistake, but if we can't level up the attract orb anymore, it will delete the gems that we can't collect. And the problem is that this game can only handle so many gems on the screen at the same time. And if you get to a point where you reach a cap, they just, stop spawning and just stack up on each other so it's yeah it's it's a difficult but we're off to a good start here we've got one more weapon that we can pick up and it's all going to come down to the augments that we get uh, see the bone or pentagram i don't really want to level up pentagram anymore so it's going to have to be the bone and I don't want to level up bone too quickly because it'll start killing things too far away from us and we won't be able to get the XP. So we're going to need to make a push for that later on. Uh, empty tomb. We're definitely going to need that one. That gives our cooldown. That affects the Bible. So as you can see, it's down there, but it comes up 8% quicker now. And we'll keep on leveling that up. So there won't be much of a gap when the Bible is down. So far, so good. I'm feeling comfortable that we're gonna get a reasonable distance on this playthrough. Uh, attract orb again, it's a no-brainer. We've gotta, gotta get as much as we can. I'm thinking that pentagram may play against us now because we've managed to get attract orb up to level four. And I've tried this several times before and we've got both garlic and attract orb and not managed to get it up past level three, so I guess we'll see. Oh, wow, okay, another attract orb, so it might have been a big mistake. Uh, but there it goes, the pentagram. Now, I took the pentagram with Poe. Poe starts with the garlic, and I was hoping that when it went off, it would defeat the boss at 25 minutes, but it doesn't, doesn't defeat death. So the idea of this game 
is you've basically got to last 30 minutes. At 30 minutes, the Grim Reaper comes in and it's game over. So to complete this without moving, we need to get to 30 minutes. <sighs> Do I take the magic wand? It fires at the nearest enemy. Now, the chances of us getting an augment are next to nothing. That means we need it to have a bar boss die on top of us to get a chest, so actually leveling up one of our weapons is, is not going to happen. Well, very unlikely. Uh, Laurel, I guess. Or, oh, the crown. I'm going to go for the crown because that gives us more XP. It's going to get us to that level 60 quicker. So it's pretty early on. We're in the first few minutes. Crown might not be a bad one to take at this stage. Hmm, armor. Um, armor could be good. I don't usually take it, but again, if anything gets through our little defense here, it'll just help us a little bit. It might make all of the difference in this run. But as for weapons, our weapons are now locked in. That's it. We've got all six weapons. Um, I guess the duplicator would be good. Uh, what do we do? Get another Bible up around us. Bible's working out quite well for us right now. And there goes the pentagram again. But the run is off to a good start so far. I do like this game. I'd say it's only a couple of quid on Steam, this game. Overwhelmingly positive, and it is good fun. Uh, spinach. Definitely going to want to raise the amount of damage that we do here. That is going to affect the garlic as well. Garlic, generally speaking, is a pretty useless ability. It's... it's it's pretty good early on as you can see here it's taking care of all of these mummies and everything really but later on it's not going to be much good uh do we go for laurel here i think so we, we need to get these shields up five minutes mark just coming in now here comes a boss a mummy boss we should be alright, we've got three Bibles up and that should knock it out of the way. Uh, do I level up armor? I think I'm going to go for the Attract Orb, this is a risky one. But if I do die, I have one revive. Uh, go on, if we can just keep them out. Get our shield back up if we can. Uh, we could go for Pentagram, but I think that's going to go off any second now anyway. So, uh, is it Laurel or... We'll go for Laurel instead of the armor. There we go, the shield's back up. This should be good. And the pentagram should go off any second now. And uh, take care of all of this stuff. Okay. Um, I think the spinach. We don't want to do the bone just yet. There goes the pentagram. So, so far, so good. I'm pretty happy with this run so far. I guess Duplicator would be nice for the final thing that we unlock. That would give us extra projectiles. Um, we'll just have to see what we get. How long we can hold on for before we have to lock in everything. all here now. Feeling pretty confident this run though. Can we make it past the 25 minute mark? Is it even possible? Well I know it's possible but is it possible for me to complete it without moving? I guess we'll see. This is as good a run as I've ever had so far though. I'm feeling pretty confident. It's just complete randomness whether he can do it though at the end of the day. It's complete RNG. But this is a good attempt. Goes pentagram again. Like I say it might have been a mistake getting a pentagram. We haven't really been missing much of the XP and most of the reason for me grabbing the pentagram was for that very reason. 
Uh, I'm going to go Crown. We're going to get more XP that way. And we've just hit level 20 or 21 now. So we've got an extra bone. We are going to want to get more up to level 60 by 25 minutes. So I think the Crown is definitely a good move. Seems to be holding up pretty well. There's a little bit of time when the Bible goes down, so we could really do with perhaps either Duplicator or Tomb. The Tomb would be good because it leaves us vulnerable with that down. Um, I guess we'll level up Spinach. We've got no choice there, but that's not a bad thing to level up. It's leveling up the amount of damage that the Garlic is doing as well, so it's actually just holding them off a bit. Holding them off long enough. I kind of want to avoid leveling up garlic if I can because it's doing its job and later on it's not going to make much difference certainly in the late game. Ooh, got a boss there as well. Okay. Uh, do we go spinach rather than XP? More DPS, more damage. It affects everything so yeah, that seems a little bit better. Nothing seems to be getting through. The close one there. The odd thing is still getting through, so... I mean, we could stop that by levelling up the garlic, but... I think I'd rather risk it for a chocolate biscuit than not. Magic wand fires one more projectile um, or armor. I guess the bone does more base damage and an extra projectile, so I guess we'll take the bone. Not much difference between the two of them at the minute. Oh, here comes a big wave. Oh, it's holding up, it's holding up. Ah, Bracer. Um, increases the projectile speed. But that would that would lock us in. Um, I guess... Armor. Reduce the incoming damage. Might just help us out. Plenty of XP coming in though. This is good. Um... Spellbinder as our last increases the duration effect because of course we already have Tomb so Spellbinder is the other one I think that would be the best to take so that's all of our weapons and all of our extras all six of each locked in now so I guess it's just down to it's just down to luck all effects last 10% longer yeah we're going to keep going with that that's going to keep the Bible up for longer So this is good. This is good. We're on a good run. Getting into that 10 minute mark now, but we really need to be gaining some levels here. Uh, I guess garlic one more time. But I think that's about as much as I want to take garlic until it forces me to take garlic. Uh, Laurel, spinach. I go Laurel. I need to get that up. It's going to have to be done at some point, so we need maximum shield. Here comes another boss. It's the cabbage. <laughs> cabbage boss. I don't know what that is. Let's hope it keeps out of our way. So far, the Bibles are dealing with it and the garlic. Cabbage apparently doesn't like garlic. So we go spinach here, increasing DPS. And like I say, the chances of us killing a boss and it landing on top of us and getting a, a chest and, and an augment, very, very slim. Um, we did manage to get the red gem from that cabbage though, so it's a quite a chunk of XP. It's good. There goes the pentagram again. 
Okay, level 30. Another 10 levels, we get an extra bone. And the bone, when you max out the bone, it really does do some serious damage. Ooh, just got some stuff just getting through here. Um, I guess Laurel. Oh, do we go for more XP? I'm going to go more XP and risk it. It's crucial we get as many levels in. We need more, more than this quicker. I think we can hold them off. We've got enough of a shield. We have got the armor as well. That gives us an extra little buff there. As you can see, shield will all... It's a risk. Some of these cabbages are getting through. Um, okay. Just want to get that damage up now. Looking all right. We're looking all right. Let's say the furthest I've managed to get is 25 minutes. So to stand any chance, I need that level 60 by the time we get to 25 minutes. If we get to 25 minutes, comes another bat boss, but just got wiped out. Got some Medusa heads, werewolves. Uh, go for another Bible. We get fourth Bible up and around us. It's doing pretty well. I'd say King James Bible is pretty much an essential one for this run, being that if you can get that with the attract orb, it's killing things close enough to you that you can still get that XP. And it's crucial that you get the XP. So pretty good. Approaching 13 minutes, I think. The pentagram's gonna go off around that mark as well. So far, we're killing everything pretty close. We're standing up to everything. Um, guess Laurel while we can. It's definitely going to save us. Yeah, the Bible really is effective. We want as little downtime on that as possible. So if we can level up the tomb a bit as well. I forgot we got that as the second upgrade that reduces the time or the downtime of course the bible the most powerful of all of the weapons <laughs> uh, okay um, do I do garlic one more time I think we'll, we'll go for armor Armor is a defense. I think I've really taken garlic as far as I want to take garlic. Yeah, it's helping us out early game, but the real D DPS is going to come from the bones and the magic wand. They're the two things that are really going to help us. Well, here comes a big wave of stuff now. Let's hope. Uh, do we go for XP here and risk it? I think we do. Oh, it might have been a mistake. Look at all that XP. Come on. Just about holding it together. Um, I'll go for another Bible. Could have uh, We could have upgraded the tomb so that cooldown would be less, but there we go. Yeah, no, the Bible is just holding up now. This is good. Projectile. Oh, uh, I guess XP. I mean, it's important we get that up early enough so we can get these levels. So I'm wondering if the crown is going to be essential for doing this as well. Um, I'm going to take the empty tomb here, reduce that cooldown. You'll see the Bibles, they don't go down for as long now much straight up and they go down so this is looking good um, do 
we do Laurel, I guess. A couple more and we'll max it out. So 15 minutes, there's the Medusa there. I don't think she's able to get through. Pentagram's probably going to go off and it will wipe this boss out, but it doesn't do the 25 minute boss. That's the problem. It's level 40, we've got an extra bone now because we just hit level 40. The next one comes at level 60. And it's important to time that right with this run. Uh, yeah, I guess empty tomb. If we level up the bone too quickly, it'll kill things too far away from us because it, it actually gets really powerful. It ends up doing over 100 damage if you can max it out. Um, empty tomb again, juicing the cooldown, the time that that's down. Yeah, it's almost open straight away. There goes the pentagram. I think we, uh, we stand a good chance here. We stand a good chance. Another 18 levels. Got to get another 18 levels between now and the 25 minute mark to stand. I think we're going to need the, the bone maxed out. Uh, okay, another Bible, I guess. Not a bad time to take it. Level 43. So it's quite an interesting challenge for a kind of AFK challenge. It's not entirely AFK, but it really is random as to whether you can do it, obviously. It's just luck of the draw, but there is some tactics in what you choose. And I certainly don't think this can be done in just one way or with one specific character. But... I think more is definitely a good pick if you can get garlic and the attract orb early on because of the amount of damage that this bone does. And I'll upgrade it. I want to start upgrading it, making it more powerful. When you can fully upgrade it, it really is a great weapon. Pretty OP. Ah, look at all that XP coming in. Loving it. But yeah, I've attempted to do this challenge I don't know how many times now. Maybe this will be the time we actually do it. Um, do we do Laurel again, level 7. It's going to be our last defense. We're going to need it. And I've also taken armor on this run. Again, I don't usually pick up the defensive stuff, but I guess we've really kind of this play really does dictate that. It should be an achievement in the game. It's not actually an achievement for standing still. As you can see we haven't gathered any gold. Um, but I just think this is a great challenge. Um, again, bone. Get the damage up on that bone. And 46 at the 18 minute mark. there but yeah it's not going to get through pentagram should take care of it anyway yeah as you can see we don't actually get any gold for doing this run we can't pick up any chests or anything it's just kind of random but there are tactics as to what you choose and when um, I guess we keep going with the Bible. The Bible's not going to stop that final boss though. If anything, it's going to be the magic wand and the bone. Got to try and get, at the very least, we need to get to level 60 and we need to get that bone maxed out. And I think we still have, I can't remember using the revive that we had. We still have one revive, I think. I don't know, I've attempted this challenge so many times now. I think we've still got a revive. I don't think we've died. 
whether that helps us or not. You can revive yourself with half health once. Okay, yeah, so again, we keep going with the bone when it gives us the chance to. Fifteen need another twelve levels. We've got to get that in the next five minutes. So those of you who are regulars on my channel will probably be thinking, James, what are you playing right now? This is, you know, just terrible graphics. But ordinarily this game is great. It's only a couple of quid on Steam and it's you'll see it's overwhelmingly positive, but I definitely recommend it. It's great fun. There's loads, loads here. It's still in early access, but it's only a couple of quid and uh, it's a good laugh. Oh, okay. Here comes a witch. 20 minute witch, but I think we're good. I think we're good. Getting up to level 50 now. Can we do 10 levels though in four and a half minutes? That is the question. Hopefully we're going to get a wave of enemies just come in and flood us with a ton of XP. Okay, there goes one. Um, okay, so do we up magic wand or go full in on the bone? So there we go, we've maxed out bone now and you can see it's pretty much critical damage on everything there. So a really, really powerful weapon. So we finally managed to get that, but we need another 10 levels, get an extra bone and then that might be enough to do it. At least I hope it's enough to do it. Effects uh, last 10% longer or the King Bible. Uh, I guess we get the King Bible up to level 8. That's not going to be... I mean it is going to be some effect against the boss but the boss is going to be able to pass through it even if we have it maxed out. Quite a bit of XP that we're not getting just at the back now. Uh, okay. Eight levels to go. We're kind of going to be close on this one. The, taking the pentagram might have been a mistake in the end. As you can see, it's just wiping out. It does wipe out the, the enemies, but it wipes out the XP. Just need something to pile in now. Just a, a load of enemies to pile in. Hopefully just bring us a load of XP. That ghost. But yeah, the damage of that bone. Um, start bringing up magic wand as well. That's going to help us out. Get that up as high as we can. Fires at the nearest thing, so that's also going to be firing at the boss when it comes close to us. Oh, how many levels? Seven levels off. Level 60. And yeah... I'm kind of feeling maybe at this point the pentagram might have been our downfall. It's just wiped a load of XP off and I'm largely taking the pentagram to make sure that we don't have any gems left on the floor. Um, I think... Empty Tomb again. levels to go. Comes a bunch more werewolves. And so far, I'm confident we, we've got this up until 25 minutes anyway. But we could do with a few big waves of bosses coming in now. There's another boss cabbage. Um, going to max out the Bible. So that's as far as we can take the Bible now. Yeah, pentagram 
might have just been that mistake. Another five levels in the next couple of minutes. I don't know, it's unlikely. I mean, it may not be the end. It's just if we can get to level 60, it gives us that extra bone. And you can see all of the yellow numbers coming up there, how much damage the bone. And it does that knock back. I'm not sure if it knocks back on a boss. Oh, here, here we go. Here, come, here comes a load of XP right now, just pushing its way in. Uh... I think Spellbinder, no, I go Armor, I go Armor, it's going to get, something's going to get in there, so it, it might help, it may make all of the difference, just, uh, um, Spellbinder again, I, I don't want to use the Pentagram, although it just used the Pentagram. 30 seconds and another three levels. Come on, we can do it, we can do it, we can do it. Look at that Bible. It's just creating that event horizon around the outside of these bosses. It gets crazy, this game. Uh, um, armor again, we'll go for, let's say the garlic's not really gonna make much difference. I'm only gonna take the garlic now if it forces me to. Early on, it affects massively I think here we go so get magic wand up again level 59 if we can get one more level before the boss pushes in here it goes here it comes here it comes so it's that witch oh go on go on go on okay uh, the pentagram won't kill the boss I'll take it but it it doesn't kill the boss and uh, We've got the revive. We've got the revive. <gasps> I don't believe it. I don't believe it. We've managed. <laughs> the boss has landed on top of us, which means we also stand a chance of getting an augment. Hopefully it lands on the Bible. It's landed on the Bible. Oh, wow. If ever we stand a chance of completing this challenge, it's now we've evolved the Bible. So this just now truly changes this into a real high damage. I think we've got this. I think we've got this. Uh, Spellbinder. Let's say garlic. I'm not bothered about. This is great. I think we've got this. Magic wand a bit. Oh, why not? So when you get to 30 minutes, the Grim Reaper comes in and that's pretty much game over there. Now, there is a way to defeat the, the Grim Reaper. I've never actually done it myself, but um, that's pretty much game over. And I guess, yeah, we'll max out the wand now. Oh, I can't believe the boss actually died on top of us there. Look at this. It might be essential that that, that happened. Look at, look at the damage now with the Bible, but I didn't expect to be able to open a chest, like I say, very, very unlikely that a boss dies on top of you in this challenge. But it's looking good. It's looking good. Uh, Spellbind again. Garlic's going to be the last thing and Pentagram will be the last things that I do. Pentagram doesn't actually affect the Reaper, unfortunately. That's not a way to take it out. But yeah. Yeah, this is it. This is the furthest I've ever managed to get with this challenge. Getting past the 25 minute mark. And there's going to be a few stages here as well that are going to be a bit hairy as we get into the last. But I think we've got this. It's definitely the strongest build I've managed to get for this particular run. And uh, yeah, getting that getting that chest was extremely lucky then and having it upgrade the Bible as well it's just look at them they're just running into this little uh, event horizon we've got uh, okay I mean it's kind of like a waste I suppose doing garlic at this point but I don't want to do the pentagram because it'll wipe everything out and stop the XP this wave of XP that keeps coming in here um, 
so I guess it's leaving us no choice but to take the garlic but that's not going to really make much difference in the end and it went off anyway wow yeah I can't tell you how many times I've tried to attempt this hours hours I've spent trying to get this uh, the amount of times I've recorded this um, it's just extremely lucky but we've done it and it's possible and it's possible with more now, I know it's possible with other characters as well we could try doing this with other characters but I think the bone is as you can see is a pretty powerful weapon to start with and it certainly comes into its own at end game so Mort's a great character level 70 coming up here so around the last couple of minutes this game just gets crazy with everything that ends up on the screen here it's one that I hope people keep coming back to like I say it's still in early access there's still more being added and it's great fun it's great fun so it looks like pentagram we've got to just keep on going with pentagram every time it lands on us max that out next ah look at the damage I think we've got this yeah there's no stopping us now I just love it they just walk into this wall and die oh yeah okay I think we've maxed it out now any levels that we get I think we've got one more we can level up was it level 7 there with the pentagram or is there one more level with it one more there we go so uh, after this we may as well always take the chicken We're not going for any gold this run the only gold we got was from that chest if anything gets through it just gives us a chicken each time we level up ah look at it but we've got this one in the bag folks I can't tell you how many attempts I've had at this. I'm actually, I'm, I'm so happy I've managed to do this. <laughs> it's totally possible to complete this game without moving. Love it. Ah, oh, look at all the XP there. Don't know if we'll get to a level 100 before the end. Can we even, can we even get to a level 100 before the end as well? That's another achievement as well, level 100 levels just see all them red gems flying in now <laughs> it's just crazy madness with what's going on on the screen right now well there comes death and that's game over and hey look how long we managed to last against death there that just shows you that the armor was pretty critical for that run but there you go can you be this game without moving well of course the answer is yes it just is completely random and yeah vampire survivors i can't recommend it highly enough i mean um you should definitely definitely give it a try perhaps not the ch this challenge but it's uh, it's great fun it's only a couple of quid it's in early access and uh, yeah i hope you enjoyed that one until next time i'm james from complete games and i'll see you